share the FBI in Dallas now leading this investigation, and we are learning a lot more about the gunman. But what investigators don't have right now is a motive or why he targeted that shopping mall. We also have some new information about the victims. At least three of those killed were very young children. Right now, there is no official motive for the mass shooting at a Texas outlet mall, but investigators today are zeroing in on clues and say the gunman might have been motivated by extremism. 33-year-old Maurizio Garcia was a former member of the U.S. military. He enlisted when he was 18 years old, but was released just three months later for mental health concerns. Garcia had no criminal record, but his social media post and a patch he was wearing are linked to white supremacist and neo-Nazi views. 8 people were killed in the Saturday afternoon shooting including 3 members of the Song family. Only their 5-year-old survived. Also killed in the attack 27-year-old engineer Ashwarya Tataconda, 20-year-old mall security guard Christian Lacour, and elementary school students sisters Daniela and Sofia Mendoza. I tried to feel for a pulse, there was no pulse. He found a second victim that was already expired. I tried to do CPR on a third victim and he passed at the same time. I then found a uh, four or five year old calling out from under the other victims and started wandering around asking for help for his mama and I took him to the side. Yeah! In a surprise move today, a Texas legislative committee advanced a bill that would require minimum age restrictions to purchase some semi-automatic weapons. And just a few hours before, the families of the Uvalde school shooting urged the legislators to pass the bill. We now know the weapon used in the mall shooting was the same type of semi-automatic rifle used by the Uvalde gunman. 21 people were killed. Now Texas and the U.S. are mourning again. We offer our sincere sympathy to the victims and their families. We are praying for you and we share in your grief. Also an update now on little William. Both of his parents and his brother were killed tonight. He is still hospitalized, but he's improving. He was moved out of ICU just a little while ago and a GoFundMe for that family has already raised more than $750,000. Live in News Center, I'm Sandra Mitchell. Micah and Cher, back to you. All right, Sandy, thank you.